G'day guys, Ben here, this is Shaz. Baz and Shaz. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here to talk about cordless drills. This particular one's a 14.4 volt, made by Hitachi, manufactured in, in Japan. Japanese drills are generally the ones to go for. Well, it's an important skill to learn mm. how to screw properly. Absolutely. <laughs> Generally when you're buying a drill, people buy it according to, to the volts. So you can get an 18 volt, you can get 24 volt, which is about top of the range, very powerful. Uh, it's got a lot of torque, almost rip your hand off when you turn it on. This is a 14.4 volt Hitachi, which is a very solid, uh, reliable piece of equipment. Mm, it certainly is. You want drills with some metal on it. Some have full metal bits up here, but this has got metal here. You can get them with uh, plastic on them. So you want to look for some metal, it's going to be more harder wearing, last longer, especially when you're buying a second hand one. You don't want it to be too bashed up. You want it to be able to tighten it still and move all the bits and pieces. You either go for the cheaper end of the market, uh, which lasts for a period of time and they're referred to as throwaway tools. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, the other end of the spectrum is you buy a quality tool and if you look after it, it'll last a long time. When you buy a cordless drill, you don't want something too heavy because normally when you're using it, you're using it with one hand, you're up a ladder, you want something weighted really well, but if it's too heavy, you can't hold it straight. Thank you, that bat. <laughs> so the batteries used in the, this particular Hitachi is uh, nickel metal hydrate. However, you can use the nickel cadmium batteries. Bet you can't say that three times really fast. Nickel cad. <laughs> so much. Guys, a few handy hints on uh, cordless drills. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man. All the best, guys. See you next time.